It's official. Major League Baseball is frothing at the mouth because the 2024 World Series has the Yankees and the Dodgers. So in this video, I'm going to go over the lineups, the starting pitching, the bullpens, and then I'm going to tell you who's going to win the World Series. Let's go talk about it. Let's start off with the lineups and go to the Yankees first. We all know how good this Yankees lineup can be. you got the modern day Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris with Aaron Judge and Juan Soto. Those guys have been diabolical all year, but it's not just them. you got a few other guys that you got to worry about here as well. Giancarlo Stan has been great this postseason. Glaber Torres has been awesome out of the leadoff spot ever since they put him there in the second half. you got a couple other guys stepping up here like Anthony Volpe, Anthony Rizzo, even someone like Jazz Chisholm who hasn't done all that much this postseason. And you know he's got the speed, he's got the pop. So, yeah, overall, this Yankees lineup is very good. Now, getting back to the division round when they played the Royals, remember, Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, they were pretty quiet during that series. The guy that was doing the most damage was Giancarlo Stan. He's been great this postseason, hitting 294 with a 385 on base, a 794 slugging, a 220 WRC plus, five home runs, and 11 RBIs. My goodness, this guy has been awesome so far this postseason but the fact that now Juan Soto and Aaron Judge are starting to heat up I think that's very scary Aaron Judge came up with a couple of huge home runs for the Yankees in the ALCS but Juan Soto had the big one the three-run homer to send the Yankees to the World Series in game five so yeah the fact that you got those three guys at the top of their game right now that is very scary and then you got a few other guys that are contributing like I've mentioned Glaber Torres has been been solid you got Anthony Volpe Anthony Rizzo contributing so yeah this Yankee lineup it is dangerous but you know the Dodgers lineup is just as dangerous when you got a guy like Shohei Otani at the top of the order that's a pretty good advantage to have if you ask me I don't know if you know him or not he is pretty good but you got plenty of other bats in this lineup Mookie Betts has been fantastic this postseason hitting 300 with a 404 on base a 675 slugging a 185 WRC plus four home runs remember with Mookie Betts he's had his issues in the postseason before but he is really stepping up in a big way this postseason Freddie Freeman on the other hand not a great postseason he's been dealing with the ankle injury but you know when Freddie Freeman is feeling good feeling healthy at the top of his game he's easily one of the best bats in Major League Baseball you got some pop here in the middle of the order with Teoscar Hernandez and Max Muncie Max Muncie has been very good this postseason a 189 WRC plus with three home runs Teoscar Hernandez not really doing much with the batting average has a couple of home runs though so you know Teoscar can give you some production there and even the bottom of the order is stepping up this postseason Will Smith has come up in a couple of big spots uh you even had Tommy Edmond hit a home run in game six against the Mets and Kike Hernandez came alive against the Mets in that series so yeah you got bats everywhere in this lineup both lineups are very good but if I were to lean one way I would lean slightly towards the Dodgers I feel like they have a bit more extension in this lineup sure the Yankees got Judge Soto and Stanton but I feel like the fact that even the bottom of the order is clicking with this Dodgers lineup uh, and then you also have just all the talent at the top of the order this is a very dangerous lineup one through nine right now they're st- they're all stepping up in a big Big way so yeah I would lean towards the Dodgers slightly with the offense now let's talk the starting pitching with the Yankees you got Garrett Cole Carlos Rodon Clark Schmidt and Luis Heal now they have had their success this postseason but they've also had their bumps they've definitely been up and down now Garrett Cole remember game one against the Royals in the division round didn't look all that sharp but then in game four he looked amazing helping the Yankees get to the ALCS Carlos Rodon remember against the Royals in the division round had that great start but then the wheels came off the rails a little bit but then against the Guardians he looked fantastic had an awesome outing against them and then as for Clark Schmidt Luis Heal they pitched a little bit here and there but overall for the Yankees up and down but they are giving some pretty decent production overall. The Dodgers have also had their ups and downs this postseason with the starting pitching. They've basically been running with three guys, Jack Flaherty, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, and Walker Buehler. Now, when I say ups and downs, oh man, I mean ups and downs.
Browns. Jack Flaherty had one very good outing against the Mets in the NLCS, but then the next start, he gave up eight runs, got absolutely rocked. Now, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, remember that first start in the division round against the Padres? They tagged him for quite a bit, but then he bounced back in a big way in Game 5, and he looked pretty solid against the Mets there in the NLCS, had eight strikeouts in four and a third innings. So, Yamamoto, I think, is fine. Walker Bueller, kind of the same thing. Got hit hard by the Padres, pitched okay over four innings against the Mets. But if I'm leaning one way with the starting pitching, I would lean towards the Yankees here. I feel like they have a little bit more depth. Garrett Cole, Carlos Rodon, they haven't really, you know, gotten lit up like some of the Dodgers starting pitchers have. So I would lean towards the Yankees with the starting pitching. So far, I've given a slight edge to the Dodgers when it comes to the offense and a slight edge to the Yankees when it comes to the starting pitching. So I think this comes down to the bullpens. Let's talk the Yankees first. And Luke Weaver has been the star of the show. He's been tremendous for the Yankees this year. So good that he was put into the closer role over a struggling Clay Holmes. He's been fantastic this postseason as well. Minus one bad outing against the Guardians where he gave up the game-tying home run to Noel. But besides that, he's been great. You got some other guys stepping up in the bullpen as well. Tommy Canely has been amazing. Hasn't given up a run this postseason. Tim Mesa, Tim Hill, they've been great as well. Clay Holmes, he's had a couple of little bumps along the way, but overall, pretty solid numbers, a 3.52 ERA. So for the Yankees, yeah, you got some good arms at the back of the bullpen, but the Dodgers also have some good arms, and they have a lot of good arms. You got Blake Trinan, you got Michael Kopech, Evan Phillips, Daniel Hudson at the back end of the bullpen. Now, Blake Trinan and Michael Kopech, they've been fantastic this postseason. Now, Michael Kopech did open against the Mets in Game 6, gave up a run there, but before that, this guy was dominant. Bandit and Brazier also gave up a run against the Mets in Game 6, but other than that, very solid overall. You've had Blake Trinan stepping up in a big way this postseason. Evan Phillips, has been good. Daniel Hudson has been good. I mean, just so many guys have been stepping up for them. I love the length of the Dodgers bullpen and they needed this length because the starting pitching was so thin and all of these guys have been great you know they've ran a couple of bullpen games this postseason and it's gone very well for the Dodgers so for me in the end I gotta lean towards the Dodgers bullpen I think they have more options back here some of these guys have just been so dominant and a lot of these guys have just had overall success yes the Yankees they've also had some success there but I think the Dodgers in the end they just have more length in this bullpen. In the end, I'm going to go with the Dodgers in six games. I think their lineup is absolutely incredible. Yes, the Yankees lineup is amazing. You got the modern day Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris with Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, Giancarlo Stanton has been stepping up in a big way. You got some other guys contributing there like Anthony Volpe, Anthony Rizzo, Glaber Torres as well. But I think for the Dodgers lineup, one through nine right now, they're all hitting so well. And you haven't even gotten the best of Freddie Freeman yet. I think if he can have a little bit more time here try to get himself a bit more recovered I think he could end up having a very good World Series so when you got a lineup that's hitting very well like the Dodgers and Freddie Freeman then joins in I mean that's just incredibly dangerous and sure the Yankees starting pitching has been better this postseason Garrett Cole and Carlos Rodon have looked tremendous at times and they haven't gotten rocked as hard as Flaherty Yamamoto or Bueller but you know with Flaherty Yamamoto and Bueller they can put together some pretty decent starts and when you look at the bullpen with the Dodgers I think there's just more length there I think they have more arms that they can turn to they've shown that they can win games when you have a bullpen game so in the end I think the Dodgers are just a slightly better team in this World Series so I'm gonna go with the Dodgers to win this World Series in six games so everyone that's all I got for now. Tell me your thoughts down below. Tell me your predictions down below in the comments. I'm excited to see what you got to say. And Yankee fans, don't you get mad at me. This is not Red Sox fan bias. I'm just going right down the middle. But everyone, that's all I got for this video. If you can on the way out, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you next time.